Welcome back. In this video, we'll be doing the problem set division with trailing zeros. Problem type one. So division with trailing zeros. The trailing zeros are the zeros behind the 16 here. So 1600 divided by two. Uh, we're asked to divide and we're going to set this up by doing long division. Anytime the division gets just a little bit complicated, long division is the way to go. Something that we don't already have memorized. So 2 goes into 1600. The first thing is notice the different way that it's written. Whenever we write standard division as long division, we have to switch the order. That 2 actually is now written in front of the 1600. Uh, this is important because this symbol, the long division one, is not on a calculator. So at some point, if you're using a calculator to do these sort of problems, this is the symbol that you see on your calculator. So a common mistake is whenever you're going from long division to actually putting it into a calculator, getting the order right. So this is the order you would use if you were using a calculator. But in this case, we're doing long division and we've asked 2 goes into 1600. I start off with the first digit on the left. That's the 1. And we first ask ourselves, does 2 go into 1? And in this case, 1 isn't big enough. It's not divisible by 2. So we go to the next digit, which is the 6. And now I'm looking at both of them. So I've got 16. So we're asking ourselves, how many times does 2 go into 16? And 2 does go into 16. It goes in 8 times. And notice that I'm keeping my columns lined up nicely here on the right-hand side. We said 2 goes into 16. Everything's lined up. And now we want to multiply the 8 on the top times the 2 out in front. So 8 times 2 gives me another 16. This 16 I'm going to subtract from the one on top. It's kind of, I guess, coincidence that it worked out to be exactly the same. And whenever I subtract those two, the blue 16 minus the green one, 16 minus 16 gives me 0. So we bring down our next digit, which luckily here is zero. And now I have to ask myself, how many times does the two out in front go into this new number, which zero, zero is just zero. So two goes into zero, well, zero times. So that zero goes at the top, again, lined up over the zero we just brought down. And we start the process again. This zero we just wrote at the top gets multiplied by the two out in front. And zero times two is zero. Notice I'm keeping everything lined up nicely here. And I do the subtraction again. Zero, zero, which is just zero, minus zero. If you have nothing and you take away nothing, you still have nothing. So that's my zero that I brought down. I have to go to the next digit, which is our last digit, so we know we're closing in on it. I bring down that zero, and then I ask myself again, the two out in front goes into the zero that we now have at the bottom, again, zero times. So zero times two gives us zero. Subtract. And I again have 0 minus 0, which is 0. Now, I don't have any other digits out there to bring down, so that tells me that I'm finished with the problem. Uh, my remainder here at the bottom is 0, so I don't have to do anything with that. And I look at the number on the top to see what our answer is. So I've got the 8 with two zeros behind it. So 1,600 divided by 2 is 800. 